All right, guys, there was this awesome story on social media, a very good story, okay? And it talked about how this one girl, she saw everything in life and she just freaked out. So she would, she would compare like crazy. So what she did, what she saw, she saw this one girl and she thought she was prettier than her. So she gets a nose job. Then she saw another girl and she thought she was with a guy and she thought, I'm not in a relationship, I'm not pretty enough. So then she got something else done. And then, and then she saw someone with a, a thinner waist, so she got her waist, her ribs removed. And then she saw someone with a big you-know-what in the back. I can't say, obviously, but just uh, you got, then she got you-know-what implants. And then she got, obviously, the top done, right? Can't say it on here. But she saw all these things happen. And all these people, and then she saw people with bigger lips, so she got her lips done, and then she was like totally made up like a blow-up doll, and it became so extreme. And then she saw a picture of her former self before all the plastic surgery, and then she freaked out over that because she's like, I looked so much better when I was all natural, right? You know what I mean? Like some of these people go through all these crazy surgeries and all these things because they feel like they're competing and they're comparing everybody. I was watching this podcast, I don't know what it was called, but they're like, they're, they're like, we have to teach our, our children, like our, our daughters especially, but our children, guys too, right? We have to teach our children that we're good enough the way we are. We don't have to, we don't have to do surgeries, we don't have to do, and some people want to do surgeries, there's nothing wrong with that, and everybody wants to look better, obviously, and they want to do certain things, and that's fine, but just to compare yourself so much so that you just feel like you're not good enough and you never feel like anything's going to change you enough and you, you need more extreme surgeries or you need more extreme whatever and you just feel like you're not good enough, right? That has to stop, right? We have to feel good in our skin. We have to feel like... We have to, we have to come to a point in our lives where we have to be okay with ourselves. And of course, obviously, there's nothing wrong with getting plastic surgery if you really like it. A lot of people get it. It's just the toxic comparing and stuff like that. And the toxic feeling like you have to be better. Even when you're really, even some people that are really, really good that feel that way, right? So, you know, you have to really remember that it's not something that you, I mean, the best looking person in the world is still a person. And it's not like it's, like how, you know, how much better do you have to be than everyone to be the best? Now, for me, I like to be competitive and be the best. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I don't do plastic surgery, so I mean, that to me is fine. And if you want your plastic surgery to be the best, it's allowed, right? It's just I, I, what I'm basically talking about more so is just the inner inner dialogue you have with yourself, right? Are you saying to yourself you're not pretty enough? You're comparing to everyone, even though it's ridiculous because you're the best looking because you've had all the surgeries or you've done all the looks, changing of the looks as a natural person. You know, is your talk to yourself toxic? Is your talk to yourself very, very horrible to yourself, right? Do you always feel like you're less than, even though you are like literally the most beautiful person? Or maybe you're not convinced to the standard, but you're very hard on yourself. You know, there has to be a point where you have to say to yourself, enough is enough, right? I mean, most people aren't supermodels, and that's okay, right? We all need different kinds of people. And like I said, there are some supermodels that are pan-exual, right? They like everybody, right? To date, right? So don't feel like you have to be a certain way. Be okay with yourself. And if you are really gorgeous, that's all the more reason to be okay with yourself. You shouldn't feel like you have to change every day or every minute, right? Well, you know what I mean? Or do drastic surgeries all the time, right? I know.